How we doing everybody? This is Let's Be Real with Brad. Today, this is gonna be a more serious, down to earth, and a lot more of just an explanation video on this new 2020 French film bought by Netflix, Cuties. This film has been completely ripped to shreds by the audience score on Tomatoes, IMDb user rating on IMDb. It's one of those films that people have absolutely hated simply because of the marketing that Netflix has given it to American audiences. This film premiered in the Sundance Film Festival January 23rd of this year. No one even knew what it was by the main public. I guarantee if I asked you, you did not even realize the film came out in January. This is an indie film that basically had no controversy, zero whatsoever, when the film was released. I am definitely not a pedophile. I am not a person who preys on young children or thinks that's exciting. I am a active social justice warrior. I am somebody who is fighting for change and wants to see women just grow and be the best women they can be and not just these beauty pageants that are only described for their beauty and not for who they are, their personality. That is what I'm more curious about. I'm trying to fight for those things and that's why I went into the crime and justice studies majors because I wanted to make a change in that. That is what I'm studying. Please don't just jump the gun and think that everyone who watches this movie is a pedophile and loves young children. Because the truth of the matter is, this is a film. This is what someone created as art. This is something that if this film was so entirely bad, it would have had controversy right out of the gate you would have heard about this film in January and no one would have bought the rights to this. That is why I think people are misconstruing this film entirely. Because if it was that big, you would have already heard about it, right? That kind of makes sense. Not Nothing really happens in January for the film industry. It's one of those things where this film had high critical reception. Look at Rotten Tomatoes, look at the Metacritic score. Are all those people pedophiles? No, of course not, because many of these reviews came out were during the Sundance Film Festival, where critics are invited to go to these type of film festivals, like you have the TIFF Film Festival, you have all these, like Cannes, you have all these film festivals that are there for indie films to go to these places, get reviewed, and have basically these studios come in and basically shop for small indie films they can get so they can make money off of. They buy the rights for it, they give the people money, and then they basically, you know, make the rest of the money on the way off. So obviously this movie was a positive success. That is why Netflix bought the film. Well, I'm not going to watch the movie because I'm trying to boycott it. Okay, fair. But if this movie is getting positive reception and had no controversy, then why are you just going to completely boycott it when Netflix ruined it? Don't boycott this movie. If anything, boycott Netflix. Netflix is literally the one that made the promotional material for this. There was already an original poster, there was already an original trail, which I have seen and I'm going to be linking it down below, along with the new American version to show you the complete differences within their trailer. I think the crazy part about it is that this movie should be not getting the scrutiny it gets if it just got what this movie is actually about. This movie isn't about the dance competitions. Heck, there is actual one dance competition in this film. Like, legitimately, one. There's another one you see kind of in the corner, but it applies within the story. Other than that, they're just practicing the whole movie. Now, I'm going to get into some spoilers, because honestly, a lot of you guys are just not going to believe me, so it doesn't really matter. But basically, our main character is conflicted. She lives in a very culturally different household that is very traditional and has to go have that arranged marriages and have to do all these prayers all the time and can't have a voice for herself because the women are basically second to the man but she's also trying to fit in with her own peers at school and ends up with a group that almost gives her that attention and with the social media culture she tries fitting into that culture and she wants to be like them and she likes the attention she's getting on social me media websites but she doesn't realize what she is doing all these sexualized dances they're young and they have no idea you will completely understand why these references are in there because it all entails into that there are even parts of the story within itself that happen that are focused on becoming a young woman what does it mean to be a woman how many times that women are sexualized constantly. Heck, 
you look at their outfits, do you know how many literally children literally wear this all the time in regular beauty pageants like this or dance competitions? It happens constantly. So the movie's pretty much criticizing, but since it's a film that's on screen, it, it's just so easy to do that when we already have it in our own culture constantly. They're, they're, they've been sexualized. That is the literal point, is that we're not fixing that, but a movie that's trying to make a message about it, people are already disliking. Now, I do think this movie is good, and the reason for this is the acting. The acting is really good. The children do an awesome job considering that this is a, a hard performance to do. And I'm not even going to just talk about the dancing because I don't really care. There's a lot of emotional and deep scenes within this film that they don't show you in the trailer, at least the American version, whatsoever. They make it look this sanitized, generic, and stupid dance film that's all about the dancing. The dancing is in, 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 in the back burner. You don't know anything about this competition. You don't know the fact that how many teams are involved. What are they judged on? What money do they win? How many teams are there? You don't know anything because that's not the point of the film. And the ending of the film, she's dancing and realizes, I hate this, this is not me, and literally leaves and never talks to her friends ever again. You don't know what happens to the competition because that's the point. Even during the competition, there are women out in the crowd completely booing, covering their children's eyes who are watching. The mom and auntie of the main girl, Amy, literally get so upset with her, call her a whore and say, this is not what you're supposed to be. This is not what you're doing. Like, I am just disgraced by you. The message is all over the film. And the fact that people are saying, well, you're still sexualizing children because they're in there, but the, but the message of the film is there. It's always there. But the trailers never show that. If they just marketed it the way it was supposed to be, but the American trailers are terrible. The marketing is awful. The poster is awful. But to sit here and completely rip this movie apart when the director has a full-on interview that I will link down below about her intentions of the film and clearly stating what she was doing, who this movie is about, how she felt with the young children and how they were comfortable with her and they made sure everything was okay and had a deep connection to make sure this film could feel realistic and they had to trust with the director. That's what solid filmmakers do with their cast. And I think the fact that people aren't going to the research, they're not going to the facts, is something that kind of truly bothers me because this film is not a pedophilia film. I am not a pedophilia, Tessa Thompson's not a pedophilia, and all these reviews that came out before this marketing that you had no idea this movie was out are not pedophiles. This film is a positive message. She literally states it is a feminist film. Sure, there's some scenes that are a little uncomfortable. She literally states that. She said, yes, you have to make it uncomfortable. And if you want to criticize that, fine. But if your whole review of what you think it is criticizes that only moment that's barely in the film and there's other really deep, really well-written subplots that didn't win an award and it has way more than that, you are missing the entire point of the film. If it makes you uncomfortable, sure, you can knock some points off. I don't think this movie is an abomination to society. I don't even think it's a terrible film. There's some people that probably, you know, kind of give it mediocre ratings. Okay, fair enough. But you gotta know what the director's intention is and what they're executing. And maybe it didn't work as well as they thought, but the intention always has to be there. It's with anything. Your intention has to be here at all times. If, it, if her point was just to make it about the dance competition and how good these girls look, the story would have been bare bones, there would be no deep and emotional scenes, the mother would barely be in it, and it would just be the dancing the entire time, and it really isn't. The cinematography is great, the editing is really well done, I really enjoy the music, I think the movie could have been longer and expanded some of those subplots even better and a lot more stronger, but this is a directorial debut for this director and I felt some scenes were a little too uncomfortable that I probably should cut. But that's just personally me and I'm just telling you that it really did make me uncomfortable. But it made me want to go and fight for women and go fight for you know young girls that have no idea what they're experiencing because they have no clue. And it just bothers me that young women are just already getting that treatment 
And it's not a fault of their own because they don't have that realization that the world is a crappy and just dark place of really just disgusting and evil people. If you disagree with me and you've seen the film, talk to me. I want to know down below. I'm only saying this just to the people who are just completely refusing to watch this film, even though there's a bunch of evidence being presented that no, all these facts that people are stating aren't true. And that's not what the film is supposed to be because Netflix botched the film. So if you guys really like this video, please like and share the video, please subscribe really helps out the channel and i'm gonna give this film a 7 out of 10 i do think it's a good and i think if you hadn't watched the trailer at all you hadn't seen the poster i do think this is a good film and that is the reason why it had those good reviews before and as always i'll see you guys in the next video